The San Marcos River here behind me is normally about four feet deep, but when that heavy rain falls, this water quickly rises and becomes extremely dangerous. And this is just one example of a low water crossing that can become deadly. Here, can Matt Simpkin that. is the assistant chief of the San Marcos Area Recovery Team, also known as SMART. With 17 highly trained divers, all either police officers, firefighters, or EMTs, the organization helps in recovery efforts in emergency situations like a drowning. The divers all have advanced diving experience as well as two years public safety experience. In order to rescue a person safely, they'll set up on both sides of a low water crossing. They'll also have equipment to help communicate with one another underwater. On call 24-7, the group of volunteers are always ready when the chance of flooding becomes severe. Limited visibility is their biggest concern when and if the rain gets heavy enough. With a reasonable current, there are certain things where conditions are just too unsafe to dive, but we'll, uh, we'll do everything we can to... Uh, come in and recover uh, whatever's lost in, the, in those water conditions, but it definitely adds a lot of challenges. And divers with SMART want to remind drivers that if you see water like this starting to get high, don't try to drive through it. Turn around. Reporting in Hayes County, Lindsey Bramson, KXAN News.